deal, deal. Hey guys, really excited today's video. Today we are going to be taking down Bommel level 50 hard. This is the first time that I've managed to do it. Um, I did try a lot of solo comps and I could just not get them to work. And I've got good gear, you know. I was get, you know, I had like 80k HP, 260 speed, 3k defense, and I could still not get it to work. And it was driving me absolutely mental, you know. You do like these 15, 20 minute runs and then you just like fall at the last hurdle and then you're just absolutely raging. And, you know, I spent hours trying to get it to work and it was just not happening for me. So it's not, I've got accessible champions. I'm not going to say it's free to play friendly, but there's, there are um, lots of fusion champions. Well, there's a fusion champion in there and stuff. So let's just get straight into the video and hopefully this will help you take down Bommel. And we're back. Sorry, guys. I had to just wet my hair, it was really poofy, and it was just driving me mad, so I just had to sort that out quickly. So, this team, we have two uh, fusion champions there, Brogni and Kantra. So hopefully you guys have them, because they are essential for this team to work. Uh, first up, we've got Rector Draft. She's in there because she's got healing, Perfect Veil, which decreases AoE damage. And also in her passive, anyone with a Perfect Veil, it increases their resistance by 50. So that is really important, really essential help bump everyone's uh, resistance up. Then we've got Cantra, Cantra with a K, and she is in there because of her passive, no escape. So every debuff on the on Bommel, it will decrease his accuracy by 10. So 10 debuffs means it'll be reduced by 100. So that's really useful, really helpful. Um, she also, on her A2, has a chance. She throws out random debuffs, but she might throw out decrease accuracy as well so we really need that to help uh, stop Bommel from getting his debuffs on us. Next up we have Brogni. So Brogni is pretty much, he's in there for two reasons. One, he has a resistance aura for the Doom Tower of 60 but also his shield. So his shield can't be removed, can't be stripped and also it provides us with healing, survivability and also it reflects damage back to Bommel that's really helping us speed up the run and taking him out. Vagoth? Oh, Vagoth. Um, unfortunately, I don't have two Vagoths. Uh, when Vagoth first came out, I didn't really understand his abilities. So I thought he was a bit overrated. And I fed like four of them. So I really regret that. So don't be a noob like me. And keep your Vagoths. They are really good. Um, and he's purely... You just build him, stack him with HP, Immortal Set, whatever. And he will... Um, just he just pumps out healing and will keep your team alive. And then we've got Geomancer. So Geomancer is throwing out a HP burn and keeping your... Well, basically, he's just doing a lot of damage to Bommel. And I'm just going to pause it. So, uh, wait. Just before we start taking out Bommel, just to talk you through the main reason that we may fail. And that is because of Brogni and Retrodraft. So... Even though their buffs are really useful, they can work against you. So what Bommel will do is on his A3, he will uh, strip all your buffs and replace for each buff you have, he will replace it with a bomb. Um, so you end up lighting three or five bombs on you and boom, blows up your whole team and that's it, you just wipe. And the other reason is that Bommel does a lot of damage. So if he kills too many of your team or he takes a right to draft, then you've got no one to revive and... That's it, game over. You'll just just lose. So I'm just going to manual the first part. So we just I just manual the first part and basically I just make sure that I don't put any buffs out because he uses his A3 first, which is the remove buffs and replace with all bombs. So you just watch here, just A1. And I don't put any um, debuffs on him either because he removes those as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. So... As you can see, it's his uh, A3 is now on three turn cooldown. You just want to be careful and work around that. This does work on full auto, but it's just a very low success rate, unfortunately, um, which can't be helped. But you know, if you, you do bumble once, that's it. You can move on. You don't have to farm his gear, even though I'd say his gear is actually really good. Um, it's a massive upgrade from resistance gear, so it's really good um, because of that defense. So it's really good for arena. Um, However, I know like stone skin sort of coming into play now. The problem with stone skin is you need to be doing Hydra and you need to, you know, with Bommel, you can solo that. You can do that. You can carry yourself. But with stone skin, you need to be in a good clan and you need to have a clan that's able to take out like normal and hard at least 
to be able to get that stained skin gear. So if your clan's not up to scratch, then you're not going to be able to get it. So this is a really good alternative to get help, you know, help you to progress in arena. So let's talk through his abilities. Um, so his A1 attacks all, en uh, all enemies and it decreases the bomb detonation by one turn. So what will happen is, say those bombs are on two turns, it will reduce down to one. So that means you could be taking damage sooner. Or if the bombs are on one, uh, one turn for their detonation, then boom, they're all going to blow up and it's going to do massive damage. So then A2 um, attacks all enemies and places HP burn on everyone for three turns. And they will receive 100% uh, more damage from HP burns for each uh, bomb debuff they're under as well. So that's why you really need high resistance on this. Um, I know it's not the only strategy, but it's, one of, it's, the, it's probably the best strategy for you to get through this. Um, yeah, and then uh, A3 we've talked about is A4 places a 50% increase attack buff on Bommel for five turns. Sorry, yeah, yeah, for five turns. And then he summons two dread bombs and then he gets an extra turn. So sort of really like on a four turn cooldown. But yeah. And yeah, and basically that is also part of his um basically if you decrease his turn meter, um he will um put a put out a dread bomb for each time you decrease his turn meter. So just coming to the end now. Um and yeah, just coming to the end and he will die it any moment now there's a pretty fast run as well um you know I, th I found that when you do solo runs you're looking at 15 20 minute run times which is pretty long but this is only sort of like a seven minute eight minute run so pretty fast uppercut bitch there we go boys sit down there we go take out bommel so as you can see wrecked to draft 1.2 million healing what a babe uh, Vogoff 600k healing as well, absolutely insane. And then Brogni, you know, 400k healing, 400k shields, absolute carry. And then Geomancer 2.1 million damage. I didn't even realize he was pumping out the numbers, but yeah, our boy, the Garden Gnome, he's doing work. So let's have a look at the look at let's have a look at their gear. So first up, we've got Margell Margell Cantra. Uh, she is uh. I'd actually completely re-gear her. Um, I would say either triple perception with uh, you want resistance substats and speed and resistance on chest and the banner, um, or you could go triple and uh, triple resistance set and then accuracy on the chest or banner. But you know, or you could just go full resistance, full resistance gear and resistance on your chest and banner. And that would probably be for most of the champions. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, the only person I'd say is probably... I would do that for Brogni and uh, Rex Draft. Um, but yeah, we'll talk through the other champions in a moment. And let's have a look at the total stats. So uh, 50k HP, 3k defense, 235 speed. And then resistance, 4 and 14 for floor 50. Um, 500 plus is what you want to be looking for. Um, 300 accuracy is actually fine even for the hardest floor. On the hardest floor, you'd probably want about, I would say, 700 resistance. So, Brogany up next. So, he's in a Guardian set, but once again, probably could replace that for all uh, resistance gear. In fact, he doesn't need any accuracy. So, yeah, so him in full resistance gear. Uh, resistance on the chest and banner and then i'd say hp on the gloves possibly hp on the boots if you can get it if not speed's fine as well so total stats 85k hp uh 2.2k defense 235 speed and then resistance is really low um like i said i really like to push that up a lot higher sort of 500 or 700 for the hardest Accuracy, not important for this. Uh, masteries, this needs a complete rework. So, actually, no, no, this is okay. This is okay, actually. And um, what I would do is get, take uh, the retribution, 
and then come down to unshakable. Yeah, the reason you want this is um, because you want to increase the value of your shields and you also want to increase his healing. Yeah, he doesn't cast heals, so that's fine. Yeah, but anything that's going to reduce damage to us as well, we want to be taking. And then Retribution, we're not taking it because of the counter attack. It's more of that we just want to be able to get that unshakable. Next up, we've got, let's see, Geomancer. So these masteries are perfectly fine. That's what we want for him because he's going to be doing damage. Um, resistance, we don't really care on him because he is just going to be doing damage and he'll be getting resurrections from Rector Draft and also Brock needs to be keeping him alive with his shield. So accuracy needs to go up a little bit. One is sort of around 300. But I've got him nice and tanky. Um, 50k HP, 2.5 defense, and then 202 speed. Um, I've currently got him in a life steal set, but looking at this, I could actually, and perception, sorry. But I would say either change that to um, all perception, or you could go perception and uh, deflection gear. So we will reflect bombs back to Bommel, making him do more damage. But really, I want to be increasing the speed, increasing his HP and defense as much as possible as well. So you could put like um, HP set like Immortal or even a speed set to, or just pure perception. And then you just want some, you know, say we could have base these for uh, um, maybe oh, I've got a defense chest. Our HP boots as well. Uh, Mm, yeah, maybe I would put like a, or maybe from his jewelry, you could put some defense ring on there. Yeah, I could probably replace that ring for a defense one. Maybe replace the chest for defense as well. Yeah. So then we've got Rector Draft. Um. Yeah, she needs some work as well. Unfortunately, uh, she's got quite good HP, but. I really need to be pumping up that um, resistance to 700. So yeah, probably replace her in full resistance gear. I'm guessing she's got a resistance banner. Yeah, so resistance banner. Yeah, replace that HP chest for a resistance one. And yeah, so we've got a bit of speed and HP. But yeah, 60k HP, 2.6 defense, 225 speed but really needs some more resistance don't worry about accuracy we're not using her for that masteries could do with a bit of a rework this side's fine but i would remove the offense to defense to give her more survivability and sort of taking resistance and definitely taking this stat increasing her resistance for each buff that she replaces uh is placed by her and then last but not least so who have I missed? We've done Brockney, we've done Kentra, done Rector Draft, uh, Vogoff, 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 Vogoff. So Vogoff, 85k HP, 2.9 defense, speed doesn't matter, uh, resistance and accuracy don't matter either. Um, the only thing is, I'll use my Vogoff for Arena as well. So. I will just pump up that accuracy a little bit to 200 just so I can uh, land it on their DPS champions. Yeah, triple mortal set, and I believe it's just H, oh, defense gloves, HP, HP. Reason is the defense gloves are is for Bommel, just to give a bit more survivability. And masteries, so we're taking healing, which is all fine, but once again, removing this uh, offense to defense. To just uh, give us a bit more um, survivability, and also I think I'd probably take Bulwark, so decreases the damage all allies receive by faith, and she takes um, she he he takes the damage instead. Um, so that's really useful. And when he takes damage, he'll heal the rest of the team as well. So that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this will help you get through Bubble. Please leave me a cheeky thumb. Uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up and smash, 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 smash that um, subscribe button as hard as you can.
and take care guys i will see you in my next video peace